In this video, I will explain how to draw round corners. So instead of having sharp corners like this, we will add round corners with a specific radius. It is very simple and easy. But before we start, there is another point that I want to explain. We already know from the previews video that the X and Y axis are at 30 degree from the horizontal, and the Z axis is a vertical line, and you will be using the T square and triangle to draw them. Now, how can we draw a perpendicular line to each of those axes? For the X and Y axis, we will use the triangle like this. And for the Z axis, we will use the T square. Now, after you know this information, we can move to the next step of drawing the round corners. We will draw this shape in isometric view, a rectangle. 5 by 4 centimeter, with two round corners of radius 1 centimeter. First, we will draw the rectangle, 5 by 4 centimeter. Now for this corner, we will measure 1 centimeter of the round radius on both axes. Now using the method I just explained, of how to draw perpendicular lines, draw two perpendicular lines at those two points. Now using the compass and this point as the center, draw an arc, like this. For the second corner, the method is exactly the same. Measure one centimeter on both axes. Draw the perpendicular lines at those two points. Now draw the arc. As you can see, although the method is exactly the same for both corners, yet those two lines are much longer than those. The reason for this is because those two angles are different. This angle is obtuse, while this angle is acute. Now let's add a thickness or a height of 2 cm to this shape. I will start by drawing the rectangle without the round corners, at a distance 2 cm along the z-axis. Now for the first round corner, we need to move those three points, a distance of 2 cm along the z-axis. Now let's draw the arc. We will do the same for the second corner. Now we need to connect those two arcs, but first we need to find the tangent points or connection points. From the center point of the arc, draw a horizontal line using the T-square. This is the first connection point or tangent point. Now the hidden lines will be drawn as dashed lines. Now I will summarize all of this in three simple steps, given this shape. At this point, I will draw a round corner of radius 2 cm. Step 1. Measure 2 cm on both axes. Step 2. Draw the perpendicular lines. Step 3. Draw the arc. Notice that this is the z-axis, which is a vertical line, so the perpendicular to it is a horizontal line that was drawn using the t-square. Now how to draw a shape like this? I will call this an inverted round corner. Can we draw it using the method I just explained? Well, the answer is yes. Let's see how. We will draw an inverted round corner of radius 2 cm at those two points. First, measure 2 cm on both axes. Draw two lines like this to form an isometric square. Now extend those two lines. Now imagine drawing a round corner like before, at those two red lines. We will draw the perpendicular lines, then draw the arc. Those red lines are only imaginary lines, and you don't have to draw them if you want. But make sure that you are using the correct angle when drawing the green lines. 
If you got confused, then just draw the imaginary lines. Now let's draw the other inverted corner. Measure two centimeters on both axes. Draw two lines to form the square. Extend the lines. Draw the perpendicular lines. Now draw the arc. To finish this shape, let's add a thickness of one centimeter. For the center point of the bottom arc, it is at a distance of one centimeter from the top center. Now do the same for the second arc. Let's remove the hidden lines.